In this video, I'm going to verify the Kelly Hamilton theorem for this 3 by 3 matrix here. The Kelly Hamilton theorem states that every matrix satisfies its characteristic polynomial. That is to say, if we substitute a matrix into its characteristic polynomial, then we get the zero matrix. So what I'll do first is I'll enter that matrix there so that I'll be able to find its characteristic polynomial. So I'll go on to code here, then enter that matrix A is equal to open square brackets. Then we are having the 6, 5, 2, and then semicolon to indicate you are going to the next row, 0, 4, 0. Then semicolon to indicate you are going to the next row, 1, 3, 9. So that's our matrix here. And uh, we will then need to go on and uh, evaluate uh, its characteristic polynomial. So I'll call that uh, polynomial P there, and I'll say equals to. So the function that we use is uh, char poly. Char poly, open parenthesis, then we are finding the characteristic polynomial of the matrix A there. So I can just run here. So what we have there, we are having the matrix 6520401391. The characteristic polynomial here is just given as um, the coefficients of the polynomial. But if we want the polynomial itself, we can just rewrite this matrix here as a symbolic matrix. So I can just do that. So I SYM, open parenthesis, then go on and uh, close parenthesis. The next step is now to create a symbolic variable. So seems x i'll create a symbolic variable x and then here we would say that our characteristic polynomial will be in terms of the variable x and then i can go on and run here and we have that our characteristic polynomial is x cubed minus 19 x squared plus 112 x plus 208 so the next step what we want to do now is to evaluate the characteristic polynomial after we have substituted this matrix A. So wherever we are having the X here, we are now putting the A. So I can just go on and do that. So I'll call this one PA, substituting A into the characteristic polynomial P that we have just evaluated here. So we are saying this one is an X cubed. So we we'll def A to the power 3. Then minus 19, then times then a squared, so it's a to the power 2. Then plus 1, 1, 2 multiplied by the x. So we are replacing the a. So I'll put the a there. Then minus 208. But if you still recall, this one, 208, is a constant. Now these other parts will be matrices, which are 3 by 3. So for us to have a 3 by 3, they would have to add the identity 3 by 3 matrix. The function for identity matrices is IN. IN will give you an N by N identity matrix. But in this case, we are saying we are having a 3 by 3 matrix. So we want the identity 3 by 3 matrix. So we say times I3. Both I3 is the one that will give us the identity. 3 by 3 matrix. So I can then go on and run here. And it gives us the our PA is the zero matrix there as expected because the Kelly Hamilton theorem states that every matrix satisfies its own characteristic polynomial. That is to say, if we substitute the matrix into its characteristic polynomial, we get the zero matrix.